Eternam. If you consulted our brochure, you'll know this is the vacation of a lifetime. You, Don Jones, are about to visit islands which are highly accurate historical reproductions. Many synthetic humanoids will provide stunning realism, adding to your intense pleasure. If you experience any inconvenience, I'll be in touch. Have a nice stay. Would you mind telling me where I am? This is the island of Cauda. It's the tail end of the archipelago. Duke Ethelred reigns here. You'll find his castle nearby, to the east. Can you tell me a bit? What's the quickest way off this island? You only just arrived, and already you want to leave. At least, stay and look around. Now if I were you, 
an adventurer, I'd follow this road. Especially since, well, I don't want to scare you, but the risks are great. Oh, that they are. Very, very great. Rex! That'll teach you to attack innocent varlets! Cut! We wish to make it clear that no dog has been mistreated during filming. The dog is, in fact, a well-paid professional stunt hound. Extremely well-paid. Uh, how much is well-paid? Uh, 30 GP and... What? In that case, we'll do it again. And let's have more sincerity this time. Please forgive this regrettable incident, Master. Thanks for helping. You're here about the ad? I just want a trip here and... I wish to see the Duke. The ad? Oh, sure. That's absolutely right. But Master, to be frank, it's a subject of more interest to his lordship than to me. Present yourself before the Duke, Master. Lord Ethelred is to be found at the end of the second hallway in the council chamber. Greetings. A most spiteful dog, don't you think? Uh, hello. So, you met the dog too. I thought the fancy dress party was last month. How about marketing your slimming technique? So, you met the dog too. A gaze to be avoided. Are you paid to perch on the furniture? Speak no more. Can you not see I climb up here to keep my beloved company? The girl is sorely afflicted, for she cannot move. Poor Mona Lisa. But it's just a statue. It's not supposed to move. In any case, Mona Lisa's a painting. Didn't anyone tell you that? Ignorant oaf. Her name is Mona Lisa de Milo. Countless many artists have been inspired by her intense beauty. There is a camera around here somewhere, left behind by a tourist, no doubt. If I were you, I would seize the chance to keep a trace of this ravishing vision.
Or who goes there? Pray, leave this room immediately. I have quite enough problems as it is. My keys have been missing for three days. Or who goes there? Pray, leave this room immediately. I have quite enough problems as it is. My keys have been missing for three days. Do not oblige me to resort to violence. Good morrow, Master. Hi there. I'm looking for the Duke. Where can I find him? A tidy place you've got here. Who handles the cleaning? Where does the Duke keep his safe? What's for supper? That Duke sure is a wonderful person, right? Once you're at the entrance, just go straight ahead. Hi there. I'm looking for the Duke. Where a tidy place you've got here. That is a lowly servant's task. These ordeals are beyond my puny powers! Life is not worth living! Goodbye, cruel world! Hey you! Where do you think you're going? I'm looking for the Duke. Go down to the end of the corridor. I'd bring a sweet meat for the secretary if I were you. He's a greedy guts and he'll want something tasty before he lets you pass. I almost forgot. It'll soon be time for the train. Huh? Here it comes! Good grief! What was that train doing here? A train in a castle? Of course! It's the Medieval Express! When you have a message or a packet to send in a hurry, it's the fastest way! That was probably the Duke's pajamas on their way to the laundry. You're still here. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Next time, stand back. There's still some time before the buffalo come through. Get a move on. Here it comes. Oh, my. That ghastly train has ruffled my hair again. You don't think I should have it dyed, do you? I suppose you heard about that to Milo. She's been promoted again. Of course, we all know how she does it. Did you see last night's episode? No? Well, Mike finally divorced Melanie and learned that his real father's not Melvin at all. It's Marvin! Whenever I have that kind of problem, I just leave the clothes to soak overnight. Believe me, with the product I use, There's someone in there. <laughs> Don't make a sound. What happened to you? <laughs> the guards found me in their private apartments. 
and they didn't like my explanation! <laughs>
I have quite enough problems as it is. My keys have been missing for three days. Do not oblige me to resort to violence. Whom shall I announce? The name's Jones. Don Jones. Guard! Let Master Jones pass. Oh, a sweetmeat. How kind of you to think of me. You pass after I get my sweetmeat. You pass after I get my sweetmeat. You pass after I get my sweet meat. Thank you so much. Just what I needed. Here you are at Duke Ethelred's castle. He has a strange sense of hospitality. For reasons best known to himself, the Duke just loves testing his visitors. So, you've come about the yard, eh? That's about it, Duke. Actually, I'm here on vacation. Perhaps solving my problems will prove an amusement for you. No professional hero would agree to help us for so little reward. And the others, <laughs> they all failed the preliminary ordeals, unfortunately. You're our final hope, to put it bluntly. First, we want to test your courage, naturally. A few ordeals to get through, a, a mere formality. Then we'll discuss the quest and your pay. Where do these ordeals take place? That just happens to be the first one. You must find the ordeal chamber without any help from anyone. After that, of course, it's merely a question of staying alive. I can give you a clue. The ordeals take place within the castle walls. Good luck. And may you be spared. There goes the next loser. He might get lucky. You can't be serious. Just look at him. He reminds me of a reject giraffe. I'm a 
taking a map of the area. You see, in the beginning, there was just one continent. Do you know where the ordeals take place? Why are you writing? How come the castle's got electric sockets? Try them and see! Here comes the hero giraffe! I'm m m making... Do you know where the ordeals take? Yes! Just... Just... Then you, you, you turn... Turn right! Then you... Turn around and... Maybe I should just take a look for myself. I'm... M m Do you know where the ordeals... How come the castle's got electric sockets? Why are you writing? <laughs> Because I, I, I have tr tr trouble t t t talking. Well, that makes sense. You will, under not any circumstances, disturb me. How about a photo? Oh, a superb idea! Say cheese, Mona. Watch the birdie! You pass after I get my sweet meat. You pass after I get my sweet meat. You pass after I get... Thank you. You will, under not any circumstances, disturb me. Guten Tag.
dog, Herr Jones. Ach, nein, nein. You, you will under not any circumstances disturb me. Hello there. I'm Yorick. I used to be in show business, the theater. That's why they put me here. A touch of class. You're about to begin your deals, and I have some questions to ask you. A word of advice. Use your head. That's what I do. Can your voice frighten a gorilla? Blow out the flames? Fill a pit? Frighten a gorilla? Maybe yes, and maybe no. Listen to this old proverb. It might help. The ox is slow, but the earth is patient. Guten Tag, Herr Jones. Ach, nein, nein! You never should have insisted. X-rays are without pity, you realize. Master, pray enter. Duke Ethelred awaits. You failed the ordeal of the terrible gaze. But you might find the right object to help you. Then I think you'll succeed. Off you go. May the force be with you. What the? What's this boat doing here? What does thou think you do it? Needlework, mayhap? Clipping hedges? Boats very little do, especially in here. Lord Vincenzo built it. Did he realize built it? Too late did he realize he'd never get it out yonder door. <laughs> what a dumb kid. No more so than thou or I. He thought one day to find upon another isle a means of removing the boat from within the chamber. Master, the walls made. Hello there.
I'm soaked! Ah, dry again. Ah, dry again. I'm soaked! Ah, dry again. Guten Tag, Herr Jones. Ach, nein, nein! You never should have insisted. X-rays are without pity, you realize. Hello there. I'm soaked! Ah, dry again! I'm soaked! I'm double soaked! Ah, dry again! Dog. Ach, nein, nein! You never should have insisted. X-rays are without pity, you realize. Hello there. I'm soaked. I'm double soaked. I'm double soaked. I'm double soaked. Ah, dry again. Dog, Herr Jones. Ach, nein, nein! You never should have insisted. X-rays are without pity, you realize. Dog, Herr Jones. Ach, nein, nein! You never should have insisted. X-rays are without pity, you realize. Master! I'll admit that ordeal is a difficult one. You should try producing an echo, one way or another. May the force be with you. Hello there. What's the quickest way to tidy up a room? Bring in the monster? Set it on fire? Maybe yes, and maybe no. Listen to this old proverb. It might help. Sleeping snakes aren't always dead. I'm soaked. I'm double soaked. Ah, dry again. Guten Tag. Ach, nein, nein. You never should have insisted. X-rays. Hello there. 
I'm soaked. I'm double soaked. Ah, dry again. Guten Tag. Ach, nein, nein. You never should have insisted. X-rays are without pity, you realize. Stuntman! Stuntman! Action! Guten Tag, Herr Dach! Nein! Nein! You never should have insisted! X-rays are without pity, you realize. If you weren't a prisoner, I'd let you have it twice. The return of the... So you're a long way from... The return of the green swamp beast. See you around. Guten Tag, Herr... Ach. Nein. Nein. You never should have insisted. X-rays are without pity, you realize. Master! Ooh, you're lucky we've got such a good doctor. If you want to avoid triggering the blade, you'll have to find the secret pathway. May the force be with you. If you weren't a prisoner, I'd let you have it twice. Who let the other one have it twice? Guten Tag. Nein! Nein! You never should have insisted. X-rays are without pit. If you weren't a prisoner, I'd let you have it twice. See you around. The return? So you're a long way from home too. The revenge of the green swamp beast. <laughs> Guten Tag, Herr. Ach. Nein. Nein. You never should have insisted. X-rays are without pity, you realize. Tug. Ach. Nein. Nein. You never should have insisted. X-rays are without pity, you realize. Guten 
dog hair joke. Ah, nine, nine. You never should have insisted. X-rays are without pity, you realize. Master. That room is in a frightful mess, I agree. You'll just have to destroy everything, eh? You'll have noticed the furniture's made of wood. May the force be with you. Congratulations! You have proved your worth magnificently. Let us join my personal scribe. Look, here's Kauda. That's where we are at the moment. As for the more distant territories, they're not well known to us. To the south, Paw Island. I have no idea why it's called that. Our knowledge of the Isles to the east is too sketchy to allow us to draw up a detailed map. All I can tell you is that the inhabitants are a degenerate race, bloodthirsty and quite pitiless. Absolute barbarians! To get back to your quest, old man, it appears we've been cut off from the outside world. I wouldn't spread that news. It might cause a panic, eh? Normally. A ship arrives once a month to deliver goods and load our exports. But there's been no ship for the past six months. And our only coastal ship went down with all hands a year ago. Before you set off, there's something I should tell you. A rumor that's going about. It says that he who defeats our enemies must first acquire the floating stars of the Earth's system. Sounds like mumble-jumble to me, what? But I would bear it in mind if I were you. You never know when it might come in useful. My lord, what do you want me to do? Your quest, should you accept it, is to inspect the nearby island of Dorsalis for me. Some confounded strange things appear to be going on over there. Things which might be linked to... That's right! D -d 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 tell him ab 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 about your, 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 your son! I'd rather you didn't interrupt to be honest. But you, 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 I say, old fellow, do allow me to finish talking to Mr. Jones, what? <laughs> He's been astonishingly bilingual, you know. Not to mention entirely polyglot. I'm afraid that the stutters have taken the upper hand now. And now, I hereby present you with this terrifyingly lethal weapon. It will prove of immeasurable help in your quest. Um, it's an impressive blade, Duke. Does it actually work in a real-life situation? Why, it's quite deadly. Watch. How very odd. Check your equipment fully, that's what I invariably say. And now, I really must be off. Run along to the captain of my guards for the fine details of your dangerous quest. His office is the first on your right, once you're inside the castle. And, uh, best of luck, old man. Chin up, stiff up a lip, eh?
Good morrow, master. Hi there. I'm looking for the duke. Where can I find him? Where does the duke keep his safe? That duke sure is a wonderful person, right? What's for supper? Onion soup, master. Well, who goes there? Pray, leave this room immediately. I have quite enough problems as it is. My keys have been missing for three days. Do not oblige me to resort to violence. I've seen you round here before. I must ask you not to come bothering my clients. I don't mean to seem unfriendly, but... I've come a long way. Is there something I can do for you? Oh, how kind you are. Here's a letter for my daughter, Marianne. She lives on Dorsalis, you know. I think she'll give you help if you need it.
Well, hello there. Bonjour, monsieur. Is there something? Um. That sounds marvelous. But no, my. My name. You again. Here, take these GPs and leave me. I need solitude to do my work. What do you know of the inhabitants of the next island? What's going on on this island? Both barons exercise their tyranny. Not for much longer, perhaps. There are rumors, rumors of revolt. Times are coming when men like me are forced into hiding. They blame you? That's my problem. The barons are convinced my books have excited the populace to rebellion. That's why I am so well hidden. Citizens, soon we will shake off the yoke of tyranny and free this downtrodden isle. No more will we lick their corrupt and evil boots. Bravo, Marianne! The only good royalists are dead one. What are you doing? You're called Marianne? I am. I came from the Isle of Cowda to free these people from the tyranny of their oppressors. What oppressors? I'm supposed to deliver a letter to someone with your name. Oh! A, a letter? From my mother? Oh, how can I ever thank you? Take this rosette, symbol of our struggle. It will identify you to our people. You will come to no harm at their hands. The royalists don't yet know the rosette's meaning. You can wear it without fear. We're getting into him. A 
Hey, brother! Wanna buy some compasses? How much do you want for them? One GP! It's a steal, brother! Hmm, too much for me. It's a deal. Right up, you wonderful folks, and I mean that most sincerely. Gasp at the most amazing spectacle ever witnessed by human eyes. A heart-stopping miracle of nature. Step right up now, there is no danger. Gonzo McMuscle has been tamed to stay inside the ring at all times. Don't be afraid, ladies, just admire Gonzo's giant muscles. He's not a man, he's a savage beast. This drooling ape man has the strength of 43 live pythons. That's a scientific fact. This heap of brainless muscle doesn't know the meaning of the word defeat, or any other word for that matter. He has torn thousands of crocodiles to bits with his bare tooth. He can't help it. That's how he expresses himself. I'm willing to give one GP to anyone who's crazy enough to get into the ring with Gonzo and beat him. No, your ears aren't playing tricks. One whole GP for any... What? Nobody wants to get... You there! The man with... Me? Yes! Well, you get the GP, wise guy. Even if you are a dirty cheater, which I'm not saying you are, you won. Even if you really didn't. And I'm not suggesting that, believe me. I always pay up. Even when it hurts. You don't have any painkillers handy. You wouldn't give them to me anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a big thrill for me to give away my GP, even if I don't want to, which I sincerely do, believe me. You see how dirty low-down tricks, which is not what I'm saying, can win you a fortune? So step right into the ring, ladies. Step right up, you wonderful folks, and I mean that most sincerely. Gasp at the most amazing spectacle ever witnessed by human eyes. Hey, brother! Wanna buy some compasses? Hey, you are hearing me, yes? Silence, Pablo. How is it that I can catch the fishes with such noise? He sounds like a colorful character. You make the noise of a elephant. The fish? They are not so stupid, don't you think? Maybe you can help me. Help you? Perhaps. But you are being quiet like the mouse, yes? Where am I? What are you fishing for? Who's in charge of this town? Who are you? How do I get off this island? Ah, uh, is it possible that foreigners can be so stupid? You are only, and already you leave. Perhaps you have the trouble on the tail, don't you think? If you desire to see the do- Who exactly- Marcel? What? That- Sacre bleu. You too are a friend of the revolution, citizen. I recognize your rosette. You're knitting for the barons? Do you have good relations with the other folks on the island? What do you know about the dragons? Some say they're the original inhabitants. What I say is they're sly and wicked beasts. Always up to some devilry. Some say they even eat us humans when they get the chance. Well, maybe they do. 
and maybe they don't. But if I was you, I'd stay away from any dragon with a fork. And if any of them tries to get his sharp teeth around you, this is what I do. I block his jaws with a metal bar. As for the small ones, you can always put them to sleep with a toadstool. Not just any toadstool, mind. You have to find the right toadstool for the job, else it won't work, see? Nice chimney you've got there. Ah, you can't fool me, you young rascal. You want a drink. I'm not an innkeeper. If you're thirsty, there's an inn in the town. And if you want anything else from those bandits, and if you want anything else from those bandits, ask for something strong. Hey, brother! Wanna buy some compasses? Hey, you there! Get off that lawn! What now? Step right up, you wonderful folks, and I mean that most sincerely. Gasp at the most amazing spectacle ever witnessed by human eyes. What is it? This one. Wait for me! Is someone out there? Shh. I'm locked in this cell. Help me! Listen, Isabel. It must be the foreigner they're talking about in the village. Maybe we can meet him. Gaston! You know what my ma will say if she hears of it. You're right! Let's get away from here! It's showtime, you lucky- Poor- Hey, you there! Right up, you wonderful folks, and I mean that most sincerely. Gasp at the most amazing spectacle ever witnessed by human eyes. What is it now? Hit the what? Wait for me. Is someone out there? Shh! I'm locked in this cell. Help! I thought I heard a voice. Who's there? I'm locked. I thought I heard a voice. Hey, in there! <laughs> Stop laughing and get me out of here. What are you doing at this wall? Nice little girl. Wouldn't you like a present? Did you hear that, Gaston? He wants to give me a present. It could be a trap, Isabel. Remember what Mama said about talking to strange men. But he can't harm us. He's in jail. That's true. Ask him what he wants. Listen, if you can get me out of here, I'll take you traveling with me. I'm in the middle of a... I'll be your servant for the whole of tomorrow. What would you say to one GP? Hmm. We'll take the deal. Throw out the money and we'll tell you how to escape. Catch! Wow! A whole GP, Gaston! Let's go spend it! Hold on! 
What about the escape plan? Oh, that. Everyone knows how to escape from the condemned cell. Everyone except the judge and the guards, the bricks in the end wall, aren't cemented together. You just have to remove them one by one. Then you can climb out. Don't forget to put the bricks back in place for the next prisoner. And stay out of the judge's way. I'll remember that. Thanks for your help, kids. Step right up, you wonderful folks, and I mean that most sincerely. Gasp at the most amazing spectacle ever witnessed by human eyes. Can I leave the island from here? You knocked on the right... Uh, no. Uh, that is... Yes, it is. It's just time to move on. I understand fully, monsieur. You will first have to show me your authorizations for leaving the island. What authorizations? I see monsieur is not familiar with our ways. You need permission from both of the town governors. Since old Baron Louis passed away, his two sons have disputed his title. They were born on the same day. It is said they were Siamese twins. The doctor separated them as well as was possible, but it remains a topic of much speculation. The two sons are rumored to be, how shall I say, not entirely sane. But this is of no concern to monsieur. Nevertheless, nevertheless, you will need to see each of them if you want permission to use the ferry. I wish you luck, monsieur. Name your poison. I didn't come to drink. I'm not sure. I need something strong. Aha! A connoisseur! Strong, you say? I might have what you want. It's uh, reserved for discerning clients. Not exactly completely legal, you see. In that case, forget it. Maybe. What does not exactly legal mean? Maybe. I'll have to ask you to be very discreet. I can put you in contact with people who handle that kind of product. Talk to the man leaning on the counter. He'll help you. So you're interested in smuggled goods, eh? Smuggled goods? That's right. Go into the back room. You'll find what you want in there. Looking for something special? Bootleg whiskey? Do you have weapons? I'm looking for something rather special. Do you have wep weapons? I hope you're not planning anything stupid, friend. I don't intend to get burned for some revolutionary hothead. If you really want weapons, I can get them. But we're talking big money. Looking for some bootleg whiskey? I'm looking for some... You wouldn't be here otherwise. If it's impossible to get, we can get it. I'm looking for a portable teleporter. I want a book. 
Eternam, the solution. Aha! You're not the only one who wants that particular item. I sold the last one an hour ago. Sorry. Looking for bootleg whiskey? You wouldn't be here. I'm looking for a, a what? <laughs> Listen, friend. We don't deal in weird stuff like that. Sorry. Looking for bootleg whiskey? That can be arranged. But you'll have to wait for the next shipment. Contact between the islands isn't all that easy these days. Come back next week. Step right up, you wonderful folks, and I mean that most sincerely. Gasp at the most amazing spectacle ever witnessed by human eyes. Hello. Are you in charge around here? Indeed I am, my good man. You see before you Joseph Petit Louis, Baron de Besville, since the death of my poor father. How may I help you? I'd like your permission to take the ferry. Travelers are normally rather scarce. We tend to avoid contact with the inhabitants of Stomacher. The ferry system is mostly used for the exchange of essential goods. My people are too happy to want to travel, you see. But if you want to go there, it will be arranged. I'll willingly grant you a permit. But I'm afraid you'll be required to obtain the same thing from my brother. He holds the right to half of the island's customs and excise. You'll find him if you head to the north in the village. Good day to you. You have the hunger, don't you think? Ha! The ballet is rumbles. What do you want, mon vieux? The Baron sent me for some seeds. What's for dinner? Bien, if he send you, you will have the seeds. But you know, he go too far, that one. Since his father, Baron Louis, died, that young cockerel, he think that everyone is his slave, mon dieu. Hey, brother! Wanna buy some compasses? There? Ah! Who let you in this room? Get out at once! 
out! I'm going, I'm going. Just took a wrong turning, that's all. Out! I'm going, I'm going! Out! Oh, oh! Who is there? Ah! Who let you in the street? I'm going, I'm... Out! What do you do here? Who's oh, she? Can I talk? Where's her father? Can I talk to Doll? Well, let me put it this way. Right now she can't hear you, Dick. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Oh, pardon me. I'm looking for the Baron de Hopeville. I am the Baroness. My husband may be found in the other wing of the house. You may withdraw. What do you do here? Tell me about her mother. Can I talk to Dal? Where's her father? Well, man, he's got to be on the scene, like. Right, just keep walking. But he's one mean dude, so stay cool, superhero. Monsieur, I don't believe I've had the honor. The name's Don Jones. I'm a stranger in your town. The people here don't always take kindly to strangers. I'd watch my step if I were you. You see, we don't have much contact with the other islands these days, and so we're a rather suspicious lot. The various islanders are so very different from one another, don't mix well. If you decide to leave our island, there's only one means of transport, a ferry service my late father set up. We have a custom concerning the ferry. Strangers who want to use it must do something first for the master of the town. By the way, you may meet my brother in the village. The poor fool thinks that he is the Baron. He could try to make problems for you. Watch out for him. He's a convincing liar. You're interested in an authorization to use the ferry, monsieur? That's right. Then custom forces me to ask a favor of you. You name it. Let me see. Yes, I have it. A mission of the utmost importance. Uh, my relations with my wife are not all they should be. Oh, nothing too serious. She's behaving strangely, that's all. She's interested in someone else, but no one could visit her apartments without my knowing it. What I want you to do is to get me proof of who this mysterious person is. When you've given me what I want, I'll give you the authorization to use the ferry. Time at last to see my revered leader, Lord Nuke. Do you read me, Lord Nuke? Well, if it isn't the delicious Baroness de Hauteville on the line. Oh, Master, you are too generous. That a towering genius like you should deign to notice an insignificant insect like me. Yes, I know. For the moment you are an amusing plaything. And even useful! How is our little power grab coming along? Have you tracked down Jones? As I told you, he must be eliminated! Our plans are proceeding smoothly, Master, according to your plans. My moronic husband is busy settling his problems with his brother. He's my slave and crawls at my command like a simpering poodle. As for your hated enemy, Jones, I haven't seen him, Master. 
I don't even know what he looks like. I have learned he is not on the island of Kauda. He cannot be far from you. Need I remind you, Baroness, that failure on your part will force me to take painful steps concerning your daughter. Oh no, please, anything but my daughter. What must I do to stop Jones if he comes here? You? Stop Jones? Simply inform me of his presence. Others will ensure his death. I hear and obey, Master. Ah, it's you. Do you have the proof? It's all here, look. What a strange appliance. Where did you find it? I'll buy it from you. Name your price. No. I have a better idea. I'll grant you the authorization to use the ferry in exchange for your device. But we had an agreement. Can you prove that? Of course not. Come, come. Agreements are made to be broken. Take this authorization and give it to the ferryman. Hey, brother! Wanna buy some compasses? Step right up, you wonderful folks, and I mean that most sincerely. Gasp at the most amazing spectacle ever witnessed by human eyes. Monsieur has the authorizations? I've got the two authorizations. Is that so, monsieur? May I see? Hmm. Hmm. It is very well, monsieur. Everything appears in order. I can take you to the bizarre ones. Why do you call them the bizarre ones? Perhaps because they are said to be somewhat bizarre, monsieur. All those who have seen them speak clearly of a certain bizarreness. Bizarre is the word used to describe them. Their bizarre eating habits, for example. They are said to dress bizarrely as well. I would advise, monsieur, to beware. You're entering a danger zone. The inhabitants of this island continued evolving up to an early space age. That means they control huge but unstable forces. That is the principal source of concern. However, we may need their knowledge if we are to free Eternam. Good luck, Don. Welcome to the university. I'm Don Jones, but you can call me Don. It's shorter. You are going to take a series of tests to check your knowledge. It's only a simple administrative formal formality to access the island commander's city. Let us go to the exam hall. Follow me, please. If you fail the exam, wait for this is... It's my pleasure to welcome you, Mr. Jones. I hope you experienced a pleasant voyage. I am your guide for the exam phase. Please settle down in total comfort and assume a relaxed posture. I hope that old robot didn't upset you. What's that supposed to mean? You're not exactly the latest model yourself. I'll get him. Please don't worry about that incident. I've been asking for him to be replaced. Prepare your mind for the questions.
loading BIOS exec config sys BASIC version 48.63 auto exec bat login password at dollar sign exclamation point M Ambersan question mark. Welcome Mr. Jones. You are currently linked up to our Gigantics 65 computer. It is quite painless. In order to determine your IQ, you will be asked 20 questions. You are required to answer them. These questions have been selected based on criteria parameters established through in-depth studies of human cerebral and physiological performance in appropriate atmospheric conditions. The questions concern the following topics. General knowledge, geography, and history. You are advised to remember them all. For each question, three answers are offered. You must choose the correct answer. I will give you the result afterwards. Question number one. On which island is the Duke's castle? Capit. Corner. Question number two. The word robot comes from the Polish word for sl the Czech word for chore, the Polish word for slave, the Swedish word for servant. Question number three. What is the Duke's guard dog's name? Fido. Rex. Question number four. Which science studies control mechanisms in machines and living beings? Semantics. Sociotronics. Cybernetics. Question number five. What is the Duke's son's first name? Vincenzo. Question number six. Who discovered the core of the atom? Ernest Rutherford. Question number seven. Marianne is the Baron de Hopeville, the Temple Woman's daughter. Question number eight. Which of these satellites is most distant from Earth? Larynx. Titan. Question number nine. The ex-carpenter is now a bear eater, bear hunter. Question number ten. What's the best way to leave this island? A hot air balloon from a boat from the pumping station. Question number 11. Dragons use skeletons' arms as TV remote controls, brushes, cordless phones. Question number 12. Who first talked of the concept of the photon? Marie Curie. Alfred Nobel. Question number 13. What number was the question about the Duke's son? Three. Five. Question number 14. Which of these planets turns the fastest about its axis? Mercury. Mars. Question number 15. The Inquisitor on Cauda is called Tepes. Question number 16. In what year did Halley discover his comet? 1682. Number 17. A paracrinism is? Two simultaneous events. Question number 18. At the next crossing, I must stop. I can turn around. I must give way to the right. Question number 19. Edwin Aldrin was involved with The first moon landing. Question number 20. How many questions will you get right? Between 14 and 20. The computer has made a full analysis of your responses, Mr. Jones. You provided enough correct answers. You will be accompanied to the commander's city. Feeling better? Good. I had total faith in your abilities. Here's the card.
to access the terminal. Have a beautiful trip, Mr. Jones. There you are. Pretty well, huh? This terminal, welcome to the unit. At least let me say goodbye to you. I have located the source of the disturbance, Don. It's coming from the island of Capete. That must be where your enemy, Isle Nuke, is hiding. You can't get there directly, I'm afraid. You'll have to go from island to island. Welcome to Future City, where the present is but a distant memory. Please insert your card. According to the memorandum Z38UK24, this card is no longer valid. I'm just checking your identity. You are free to go. Your cards do not permit access to this floor. It's like an oven in here. Hi there! Hello! Who are you? I'm the city energy controller! You seem to be having a problem with the thermostats, no? You noticed, did you? It's the engineer's fault as usual! They still haven't mastered the new Mark 43.2 over my computer! Maybe you'll forgive the technical hitch if I let you have this card! Use the cold drinks machine all you want! It's getting hotter and hotter. Your cards do not permit access to this floor. Your cards do not permit access to this floor.
How much hotter can it get? Great, a cold drink machine. Good day. Mr. Jones, I believe. My friends call me handsome. How can I help you? I have a few questions I'd like to ask. I'm just going to my apartment. Let's get together for dinner. I have a few questions I'd like. Where's the control room? The control room is on floor 4. Turn left when you leave the elevator. Your cards do not permit access to this floor. Your cards... Your cards... York. Great, a cold drink machine. Good day. My friends call me. How can I help you? I have a f I'm just going to my apartment. Fine. You can go. Good day. My friends call. How? C I have a few. Qu no way. Have a nice day. Good day. My friends. How? C I have a few questions. Where's the control room? Good day. My friend. How can? I have a few questions. Where's the control room? How do I get out of this place? Who runs this place? Use the teleport, like everybody else. Thank <laughs> you.
Your cards do not. Your cards. Your It's my hero, the amazing Jones. I love those muscles. You're so intelligent. You are a fine judge of people. How come you know who I am? What's on this floor? And what's your name? The city engineers are working on some glitches in the new computer. I still say that megabyte's too big, and we should move it to the left a bit. Well, that would make it easier to clean. Aren't you forgetting the strong-to-weak bit ratios on the desk? Don't tell me you never heard of centrifugal force. How about an extra line of program? Sure, but where? We could stick it on at the end. At the end? How's that supposed to stop the basement overheating? Don Jones lives far in the future. Little does he know that soon he will be face to face with two Earthlings from the 20th century. Victims of a warp in the space-time continuum, Jones will soon step into another dimension. The dimension we call the Half-Light Zone. Even you should be able to understand the problems in the program itself. It's my hero. The you are a fine judge of people. How come you know who I am? I'm Sylvia. Gee, to think I'm actually talking to you. I sure hope we'll see each other again. Isn't it time you guys started talking sense? What are you insinuating? That was no insinuation, darn it. Don't you dare use dirty words. The overmind problem, darn it! That problem has been taken care of. Why doesn't the emergency button work? Greetings. Whom should I announce? The name's Jones. Don Jones. Are you new here? Why do you want to know? Well, 
your clothes. What about them? They tend to suggest you may be new here. What is the nature of your visit? I have an appointment in ten minutes. I'm looking for the control room. You have just found it. What do you want? Well, I found a card which... I've come to repair the computer. I've come from floor three. I, I understand. In that case, you're expected on floor three. Your cards do not permit access to this floor. Your cards do not... What's that smoke over there? What smoke? Take a look! Uh-oh! Spot! The station's overheating! Activate alert status X-128! This could mean trouble! Oh, very well, Captain. Countdown commencing now. <coughs> How do I know how much time I have left? Mr. Jones, your expression and stance suggest you want to utter an interrogative sentence. Where did you get those cute pointy ears? What is your function here? Where's the teleport room? We originally set it up on floor 5. 
Current architectural modifications have caused it to be moved. Available data doesn't allow me to tell you where. You must leave immediately. The situation is hypercritical and worsening. Your destination and polar coordinates are 156x, 65y. I needn't remind you not to depend on the sun's position at this time of day. The time difference is two hours, which implies a residual error factor of 28%. Uh, that'll be all, Mr. Spot. Hello, who are you? I'm Ooh La La. I code, decode, and analyze all communications in and out of this room. Can you intercept the captain's private communication? Uh, yes. It's possible. But that's just between you and me.